Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ladder Up. Today is Thursday. Now, uh, with the two wins yesterday, I believe we should be in the 1600s again. Uh, I did lose a battle on what was supposed to be Wednesday's video, but I uh, didn't save properly with my capture device, whatever. Can't be used. So, now... We're gonna just keep using this team that Jim Mac gave us, and this, this is this is gonna be the last week. So uh, today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday, it's gonna be it. Hopefully, we have a new team for next week. Uh, and in the meantime, if you haven't, oh, we're at sixteen, eighteen. That's fantastic. So if you haven't, uh, go check out Janky Teams. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun stuff. Uh, there's gonna be another episode tomorrow, a new one coming up. But we got GMO VGC California boys with fifteen fifty two. Okay. Okay, so Kangaskhan Sylveon is, is the first lead that comes to mind, or Kangaskhan Breloom, or Kangaskhan Suicune. Kangaskhan something is really what I see coming here. Uh, I kind of want to get Cresselia. The thing is, I really want to get rid of his Breloom. I, unless it's Scarf, I should not speed with Charizard. I want to... I kind of want to lead uh, Landorus as well. Yes, I want to I lead Landorus as well. Although, he no, he can fake it out. Do I want to do that? No, maybe I want to lead Sylveon. No. Maybe I want to lead my Heatran. Mal Heatran, do. Uh, or Cresselia. Oh, he could spore it. No, I don't want him to spore things. How fast is this Heatran? How fast is this Heatran? 112, so it's actually slower than Breloom. I don't like that. I do not like Heatran being slower than Breloom, but it requires a lot of speed investment, and this is supposed to be bulky. So that's unfortunate. Um, I could lead it. I could lead it. I think I'm, this is going to be the first time I think I lead double fire. I'll need Landorus if I do that. And then do I want Cresselia or Amoongus? I think I want Cresselia. I think Cresselia does well against everything barring the uh, Breloom. Because Breloom will just put it to sleep. Now with Keyberry, Breloom won't be able to do a whole lot of damage. But it can put it to sleep. And having run Breloom for a long time... I know just how disruptive that thing can be. I think this is a pretty good lead. If he leads Breloom, I can switch out Heatran. He actually leads Heatran Landorus. So... What to do? I think I protect switching my own Landorus. I think I do that. I think I do that. Is that what I do? I think I protect Charizard. Switching... He might protect his Heatran. And go for a rock slide. I don't know. That's a good. That's a really good lead on his part. It's a really good lead on his part. The advantage is that he won't earthquake, so he's gonna have to rock slide. He might want to protect his Heatran earthquake. If he does that, then this is a free switch into my Landorus. I think this is the best play. I think this is the best play. Did I wait? I hope. I, hopefully, I didn't Mega Evolve Charizard. Yeah. There's no, there's no advantage to Mega Evolving Charizard if you're not going to be attacking that first turn. Because like I've said before, uh, Charizard doesn't get a speed boost when it Mega Evolves. So really all you're doing is wasting a, a turn of sun. So don't do that. In case, I mean, you, some, some of you out there watching probably already know that. But for those who don't, uh, pay attention to what, get, what gains or loses speed when it Mega Evolves. It's very important. So what's he going to do now? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Stone Edge. Ooh. Substitute, so that is, and it's not leftovers, which means it's probably Shookaberry. It's probably Shookaberry. Okay, so Charizard, not the best thing here. His Heatran behind a sub is annoying. I want to get Cresselia. I really want to get Cresselia in here. I really want to, I want to start Earthquaking. Yeah, I'm not setting up the sun for him. I'm certainly not going to let him keep a substitute. If he's, he might be a salt vest, in which case we'll certainly find that out. But we're going to break that sub. It's not Shookaberry, which means, what is it, Life Orb? It's a Life Orb? He's probably going to attack here, which would, you know, kind of suck. Hidden Power. That's, that's Life Orb Special Landorus. That's hilarious. That is just... That's something else. Wow. Okay. 
So, however, we are free here to, uh, thing is, he's kind of free here to get another Icy Wind off. Now, if he's special, it means the Stone Edge, I should be able to live a Stone Edge, I think. Uh, I don't want to let him get another Substitute up. Yeah. I'm going to play really risky. I'm going to play, I'm playing so risky right now. Okay. Yeah, he switches out. So we should be able to, to Kangaskhan. So this Icy Wind is actually really helpful. So, yeah, because he was at minus one, he could, definitely could not knock out, um, without a crit, unless he got a crit, he could not knock out the Charizard. So that's what we wanted to switch out. So this Icy Wind is going to lower the Kangaskhan's speed, which will outspeed with the Charizard. And if he does not protect Heatran here, it's gone. However, he will get a free switch into Landorus again, which is kind of a problem. Oh, it is Shuck a Berry. Oh, I guess the Berry doesn't activate with the, uh, the Substitute. I should have realized that. But if he's going for another sub, then it's not the worst thing. If he goes for another Substitute, it's not the worst thing. He's probably just going to Heat Wave. He goes for another sub. Okay, so that's irritating. But the sub, would the sub get the flash, yeah, the flash fire does apply to the substitute. I imagine he's going to do something weird here. I think it's in my best interest. He might heat wave. I want to switch into my heat train. I'm playing really risky here. Yeah, hoping he heat waves and I think he's going to double into Cresselia. Or fake out heat wave or something like that. I want to start applying some pressure. And uh, so I, move, I'm, I used Moonlight on Cresselia because I, 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 if he doubles into it with, like, Double Edge, uh, I should be able to survive, and I should be able to Moonlight. That's why. He goes Fake Out into... That's, that's fine. I get my Key Berry. That's fine. Because now I can definitely survive a Double Edge. And if he Heat Waves... He goes for Heat Wave. Okay. So now... There's a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage. I am faster. I'm not going to survive that attack. I'm going to blast that Kangaskhan with the overheat. He goes for a sucker punch. So I get I get the overheat off. Oh my goodness. This could be really good. Kangaskhan is down. Critical hit. I don't think it mattered. I do not think it mattered. This is max attack. Modest uh, heat train. I get the moonlight off. Yes. This flash fire boosted in the sun. Overheat from Max Tech Heatran. I don't think that crit mattered. But still. Earth power. I have the Shooka Berry. And we find out that... Oh no, that's right. He had an icy wind on him. So yeah, I'm faster no matter what. He can, he can just as easily bring in Landorus here. Hooray, critical hits. Critical hits are fun. He, he should bring in Landorus. And honestly, actually, I don't know. Because if he brings in Landorus, I can just Icy Wind. Yeah. What's he going to do here? What, what are you going to do here, bruh? What you going to do here, bruh, 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 bruh? Really taking a long time here. Really hoping he doesn't disconnect. I would really like to see this battle out because it's going pretty well. So he brings in Sylveon. Interesting. It's a shame I don't have my landers. My landers would be fantastic here. Um, I want to start calm minding. Yeah, because he's special landers, so he can't touch my Cresselia. And I want to Earth Power to try and break that sub, or do I want to just Heat Wave? Yeah, I want to break that sub so that he can't uh, get another one up. He might protect. That's okay. I'll get a free switch into Charizard. I break the sub, so this is good. He might just go for a heat wave, but I should be. I'll get a calm mind up first. Cresselia should be able to do what it needs to do. One bad thing is that I think the sun is gonna not expire before the C train goes down, and I have to switch in Charizard. Goes for a hyper voice. C train's gonna go down probably. Oh no, it lives! This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. But did he miss on the Cresselia? I think he missed on the Cresselia. So now, 
He's gonna. He might protect the Heatran. I think he's gonna protect the Heatran. I want to overheat that Sylveon. I want to overheat the Sylveon. Yeah. 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 He's gotta protect his Heatran. He does not. He does not protect his Heatran. If I can get rid of his Sylveon, I'll be very happy. Oh, that's awful. That's a crit. Please tell me I did not just lose to a crit. seriously just lost to a crit. Wow. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm happy about that. Does he stay in with Heatran or does he protect? Or does he switch out into his Landorus? My only way of winning this is if he switches out into his Landorus. If he switches Heatran out into Landorus. Or protects. I gotta go for a Heat Wave. I gotta go for a Heat Wave. No, he just stays in. Oh man, that was... That's annoying. I was thinking he would switch out or protect. He does not. I'm so mad about losing. I'm so mad about losing this game. To a crit? Really? To a crit? Whatever. Whatever. Oh well. Oh well. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Because we had, what, plus two or three? Yeah, we could have easily tanked those attacks and just moonlit the next turn. Uh, Earth Power with the Heatran, like, whatever. Uh, bring in Charizard. Um, resist the Hyper Voice, get the Hidden Power off, he wants to switch into Landorus. Fine, I protect Icy Wind the next turn. Like, we had that. Oh well. Oh well, well that's it for today, because I am now emotionally distraught. <laughs> uh, ah, such an untimely critical hit. Oh well. So, if you like this, uh, feel free to like it, share, subscribe. If you hate critical hits, uh, comment about it in the comment section. If you like critical hits, go away. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, today was what, Thursday? So hopefully I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Ladder Up.